Hi everybody, this is emac 2411 on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Hope you guys have enjoyed the videos lately. Um, yeah, so this is your raw review for January 21st, 2019. And yeah, so... Yeah. Raw review. So... Raw, this is the go home episode of Monday Night Raw. So, yeah. So, yeah, here we go. So, we're going to open up Raw this week with Brock Lesnar coming to the ring with Paul Eamon. Paul Eamon talking. Really great shit. Great, great promo here by Paul Eamon. He sells this Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar match. He really does, he sells it, do you? Like, making a must-see, you have to watch it. He just, he does everything right all the time. And he really nailed it here. I have to praise him. He's good at my praise. He, intriguing, he was, I mean, he was great here. Ladies and gentlemen, he was great. He really was. Great shit. Wow. Great. He really sold it. Like, no one else can. So Strowman comes out, Vince McMahon comes out, Finn Balor comes out. Basically sets up Finn Balor versus Braun Strowman, David versus Goliath. Great opening segment. Um, yeah, good way to kick it off with all these three men. And Vince McMahon still makes four, I guess. So, yeah, that was a good stuff right there. But then we got a match. The match was still pretty good for what it was. It ends in a disqualification. I mean, but Balor looked great in this match. He looked good. He was had them on the ropes. He was taking out Strowman, Lesnar. He was saying it to both of them. But then Lesnar had the last word, last say, when he delivered an F5. Strowman's here to just, you know, peg this along with this title match, which is good. They use him well here, and yeah. I really hope Finn Balor wins the title, and it's looking this way. It looks like he's going to win. And that's my opinion. I, I'm hearing it's not going to happen. I'm hearing people don't think that, I mean. But I'm. it's looking like to me, the way they're portraying it is like Finn Balor has no chance. He's, you know... He's a little man. There's no way he can feel it. Why would they do that if he's just going to... Like, I get the story, and it shouldn't matter the outcome, but, like, they're doing it too much. They're like, I don't know. It, I have a feeling that Balor's going to somehow do it. I don't care if it's a distraction. Clean. I think Balor's going to do it. I don't know, though. Maybe not. But, yeah. So, Yeah. Good shit here to hype it up. Good weight, good last build. Um, Lashley and is on the ring. Uh, this is on the Leo Rush is out here and Bobby Lashley and they're talking and Apollo Creed somehow they do like a pose off. It was funny. It was comedic. I guess it was good for what it was. Uh, Apollo Cruz versus Bobby Lashley's next. Okay match. Didn't really care for this if I'm being honest with you. But yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah. Rollins comes out next, and he's starting to cut up. A great promo here as well. Another fantastic promo that he did, saying he could have been a normal man, but he chose to be wrestling because he's passionate about this. Another great promo here by Seth Rollins. And Terry comes out, and it was good stuff here before the match. What they were saying to each other, the promo, it was good. Then we get a match here, and the match is pretty good. Uh, Drew Mantar versus Seth Rollins, and Rollins actually wins out of nowhere with a roll-up. Like, that was unexpected, so that was good stuff again. So, yeah. Uh, Jinder Mahal and the Singh Brother versus Lou Charles Party didn't watch it, so... Elias is in the ring, and Baron Corbin they have a match. I didn't watch it, so... Then we have... Alessa Bliss is out. Um... With another edition of A Moment of Bliss on stage. Basically, this the most newsworthy thing here is that Alexa Bliss is going to be in the Rumble match. She's finally going to get physical. She's finally returning to the ring to action in a long time. So, that's good. Nia Jax, Nia, uh, Nia Jax, Dana Brooke, all these women come out. Alexa's funny. She gets on the chair and she's like, she says all this stuff and it's funny. 
And then they get physical, and it's like the Raw Rumbles is saying, which woman's going to win? And that was basically that. And then Lacey Evans actually did come out one of the new calls from NXT and says what she had to say, which is pretty good. Uh, nice seeing her um, actually doing something other than just being backstage, because a lot of them have just been doing that. Um, and saying what she had to say to Alice Bliss, she walked off, and that was that. So that was nice. That was good. And, uh, yeah. Heavy Machinery was in a match. I didn't watch it, though. But I heard they won. I saw they won, so. Yeah, and then Revival vs. Gable and Rude. Um, I watched, like, the ending. Revival should win by now. They should be champions. But no, they got screwed again. Gable and Rude continues their Raw Tag Team Champion ring, because that's what everyone wants. So, yeah. And then we get the main event. Ronda Rousey and Natalia versus Sasha Banks and Bay Lee. Great stuff for the fire in Ronda Rousey's eyes. In this match, the promo she made before this, that was backstage before this, the way she's walking, she wants to get Sasha, but she can't wait. She's mad. She, that's the Ronda Rousey I like. Great shit. Sasha Banks then says a promo before the match or something, and like, you know, like, talks about, like, how we talk about, like, uh, something about how good it was, like, Desire or something, how they're always here every night competing, but she's not. Yeah, that's true, because I don't think Ronda Rousey does live events. So, yeah. Like, she's on a couple, but, like, not many. So. This was a good match here, good tag team match. Um, now, here's the thing. So, thanks to Rousey, we even got a preview here to see what they could have done. And that was great stuff. Great stuff, great stuff here, really good. Everything here in this match. Um... However, I guess there was a wardrobe malfunction, because I was wondering why the screen went black. And then... Yeah, the screen went black. And then there was, there was like, a wardrobe malfunction. I guess her ass was all hanging out, I guess. And yeah. So... Sasha makes and Bailey actually win this match. Now, um, Sasha makes, um... Nadalia tap out with the bank statement. They've really put the bank statement over of how powerful it is and how Rousey can really tap out to it because she's tapped out Tamina, Nia Jax, and Natalia all in this year to it. So they're really putting that over. So I'm wondering what's going to happen. I don't know. I don't think Sasha's going to win. I'd love to see her win because these are my two favorite wrestlers. If you guys didn't know, Sasha, well, as a concerned woman, Sasha and Ronda. So to have them in a, that's a dream match for me. Um, can't wait for it. Should be fantastic, but, uh, does this count as Ronda Rousey's first loss? Like, on a hair, I mean, she, her team did lose, but, like, she didn't get pinned. So I don't really know there, I'll be honest. But, point is, they win, and then they're arguing. Trying to try to keep them apart, and it goes out the air with them arguing. Really, I've been really trying to, really getting you amped, anticipating the match and Royal Rumble pay per view. Because I can't wait for it, guys. Good episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. What did you guys think about Raw this week? What didn't you like? What did you like? Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Um, yeah, guys, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That's the end of the video. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, guys, peace out.